Wasabi, everyone. In the last episode, New London issued some serious demands, and in response, the outpost has given New London the middle finger. So now we are on our own to solve some problems. All right, what do we got here? Seek help in Frostland. With communications cut, there is no way for us to walk back from the brink. Even if our people cool down and have second thoughts about the whole independence declaration, we can only prepare to confront what we must assume will be a punitive expedition coming from New London. For this, we will need much more manpower and resources than we have. So let's try to find more people in Frostland. Maybe there are other settlements like Hot Springs. It's also worth asking them for help. I see. Okay, so we gotta search for other places. Harsh words were said, reckless decisions were made, but we can't turn back time. We should now focus on searching Frostland in hopes of finding other people out there. Alone, we have no chance against New London, other than we just have to wait for their move. All right. All right, what we got here? Explore. It's just a mirage. Sunlight is reflected on the surface of the ice, probably due to the temperature gradient in the air. There's nothing to see here. All right, so we'll carry on. Let's go to Victim's Colony. Okay. Get things running here. Well, the good news is now that we're no longer tied to New London, any coal or any uh, steel and steam cores we get are now ours. <laughs> okay. Getting colder. Look at that. Ooh, getting cold, cold, cold. Okay. All right. All right, so we're definitely down there. Uh, straddle carriers allows us to straddle carriers in the army warehouse, raising output by another 15%. Yep, do that. You do that. Okay. And I saw the factory. Let's put the factory, yeah, we'll put the factory right there. Still got enough. I think we got enough for a couple more bunk houses. There we go. Start getting them up and running. Explore the USS Prometheus. Between the scattered elements of the ship structure, we find an engraved nameplate of USS Prometheus. So this, so this is all that remains of one of the dreadnoughts used to found Tesla City. The great storm has buried it under such a thick layer of ice that we have no hope of uncovering it. Perhaps a spring thaw will allow us to get to it someday. All right, and where else can they go? All right, why don't we send them to the ice caverns? Oh, we have survivors. All right, a burden too great. When we approach the palisade, we notice that the, great, the, the gate is ajar. We enter cautiously and see ourselves surrounded by silhouettes of people wandering aimlessly among the settlement's buildings. They, re, they react to our presence only when we try to talk to them. It seems that these people have lost everyone and everything in the great storm, even the will to live. We can try to move them to our outpost, but even if they agree, we will have to escort them. All right, yeah, that's fine, escort them. Okay, some survivors, but unfortunately not all saw the sense. We, uh, when we propose to move them to our outpost, maybe they can recover, recover over time. They packed their meager belongings and set off with us all right how are things in the city and the outpost here 
Okay. What do we got? Are we free? Now that New London is no longer con controls our affairs, many of our people say they feel free for the first time in their lives. True, we lost their guidance and support, but we gained independence. We don't have to do their bidding, ask permission to cook soup. We can pass our own laws, decide what to do. There's a petition to change the name of our settlement since we're no longer an outpost. What should we do? Uh, yeah, let's do it. All right, what should we change the name? I know. We are now Silverton. All right, now we can pass laws. All right, what do we have available to us? Well, so I think we've got a ton of people, so we don't the we don't have to worry about the the child safe jobs. Let's see, maybe shelters for them. Let's see, what do we got? Uh, hope will we'll, we'll provide a shelters gives permanent hope bonus. Yeah. Let me wait on that. Uh, let's go with a let's go cemetery in case people die. We'll do that. We'll put the cemetery right there. Okay. Engineers. One amputee. All right. Cemetery established. All right, let's check on hot springs. Need steel. Might be able to do more, open up some more research areas. Speed up research. Yeah, definitely getting cold. Ah. What do we got here? Useless automatons. Sir, since we don't have a great generator or steam hubs, we can't refuel automation, automatons. They would work for just a few hours and then stop. We have to rely on our labor. We can still use the factory to make prothesis. That's fine. If you're enjoying this content, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It really helps us out. Nap time. Coming up. All right, we got the steel. Yeah, go. All right. Straddle carriers, good, 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 good. Okay, what's this? Can I do that one yet? Nope, need steel. Okay. More steel, need steel, 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 tons of steel. Free time. Shift over. Leave your workplaces in order. All right, what do we got for laws? Okay, yep, we'll do that. Ceremonial funerals. Attention. New laws are in place. All right, we got more people in. All right, let's send them to the goods station. Them healed. Steel coming in. Yay! Woohoo! And 
We've got people healing. That's good. A little more and I can get that last row of research unlocked. And of course, what you know it, at the sleep time. <laughs> I swear, it seems like they sleep more in this game than work. Every time I turn around, they're sleeping. What the heck? <laughs> Wake up, people. We need steel. There we go. Waiting. What do we got? Explore. In the caves, we came upon frozen human corpses torn apart by wild animals. By the... By the bodies we found, boxes with documents containing the results of some scientific research we cannot comprehend. There is no trace of animals, and there's nothing of interest for us here. All right, we'll take what we can get and move on to the station ruins. Okay, I got high, high pass two. Okay. Additional scouts. Yeah, let's do that. I need to get that last row of research done, but let's get the additional scouts. Bunk houses. There we go. Yeah, that'll take care of that. People won't get so sick. Okay, what do we need? Extra rations for the ill. I, uh, what about the care house? Yeah, let's do a care house for now. There we go. We we'll put that right there. All right, we've got additional scouts now. We'll send them over the mountain pass. Yeah, just try and get some more steel. Okay, what do we got? Cold homes. Captain, some of our people are concerned about the low temperatures in their homes. They quite sensibly point out that it's easy to fall ill when it's cold and ask you to address the problem. Okay. Mm. All right, let's try to heat some homes. I may have to increase the insulation. We'll see what we got available to us. Explore. All right. Whatever the warehouse can, contains does not belong to us, but, well, it no longer belongs to anybody, so we broke into it. <laughs> As expected, we found some canned food and frozen meat inside. Both will certainly be, will be, will, both will be, will be certainly very useful to us. All right, we'll take that. We'll go to the isolated camp. Okay. Yeah, running low on food. Trade resources for food. We'll get some more coming in. Okay. Waiting. Explore. All from on high. This thick snow covers the broken walls and collapsed roof. Only masks with this old scientific equipment rise above them. What raw materials we could still find here are not worth the effort of wrenching them from under the ice. Okay. Let's go to Winter Home Ruins. Okay. 
livable. All right, so we got some in the livable, so we might be okay. But do what we can to warm them up. Whoa! All right. Mon monument of ignorance. Those who managed to flee left long ago, and we have no idea what happened to them. Apart from some of the evacuated children who found shelter in New London, Winter Home has become a monument to the human ignorance and hubris, and its destruction is being completed by nature. The great storm covered the ruins with snow and ice. Only the regular pattern of mounds and depressions remind us that this white shroud covers the work of human hands. Okay, we'll take the resources. Let's go to the destroyed automaton. Explore out here. Victims of the epidemic. After we took a closer look, it turned out this is a quarantine center belonging to New London. Apparently, our former home was affected by some epidemic that they tried to suppress, and they put the infected here far from the healthy population. We decided to steer clear of this place before the guards noticed our presence. Okay. Deep fracture. Work time. All right. All right. Let's see. Research. Okay. Let's do the houses. This all going here. All right. Might be some steel here. Old machine. We explored the rusting hulk of the auto automaton. It was a general purpose machine, probably used by Winterholm in the field to help with construction. It must have been abandoned after suffering the irreparable damage. Steam core has been removed, but we can still get some steel from it. Yeah, take what you can. Okay. Let's go to the Grave of Bones. Okay. Some more resources. All right, what do we got? Difficult obstacle. We've established that the crevasse extends beyond the ice sheet, deep into the rock. It could be the result of tectonic movement, but rock might have cracked under the weight of ice. It's so deep that pieces of ice thrown into it vanish without any echo. It's also quite wide. It would not be easy to cross it. Yep, yep, yep. So probably best to avoid that crevice. All right, let's go to the snow rover. And what do we got here? People are hungry. Let's feed them. Yeah, Captain, some of our people are here to talk about the lack of food. They're, they've been hungry for days now, and they fear that soon they'll begin to starve. They want you to do something. Yeah, let's feed them. Okay, shipments in route. Okay. Yeah, nothing I can see here. Let's see. We need help against New London. All right. I'm sorry to hear that we that we were the cause of your clash with New London. If you help us, we might be able to support you later in your struggle. We'd be grateful if you could help us with setting up basic health care and building, and building bunkhouses. We lack manpower and resources to do this by ourselves, and we dread that we won't survive another storm. Okay. All right. Yeah, 
How can we help you? We're in, okay. It's pretty much the same thing. Okay. Farewell. All right. Now we have some more choices. Good. That'll help bring in more food. Can make things livable. People are definitely not happy. Explore. Busy trail. Apparently not only we found this pass to be a convenient way over the mountains, bonfires, bonfire remains and other evidence attest that people camped here. However, they are they all seem old. Alright, carry on. Alright. Ah, wood's done. Okay, dismantle. Resources. Sawmill. Okay, there we go. Extend that out. Go. Laws. Oh yeah, so let's get prosthetics. Everyone wants to contribute to the survival of our city. If we can bring amputees back to full fitness, we should do it. Absolutely. New laws are in place. Now, now that'll be gone. Okay, what do we got? Explore. Disturbed again. Numerous human bones lie scattered among the stumps of frozen trees. Most of them have tooth marks left probably by starving wild animals, which must have unearthed them, desperately searching for food. We'll bury them before leaving. This is all we can do for these long gone strangers. All right, well, we got a ton of resources, so let's start to bring them back. Let's go to the children's mine. All right, can we get anything? Not yet. Still need steel. Okay, what do we got? Explore. Lost rover. The frozen corpse of the driver is still inside. Such rovers were used to scout ahead of expeditions, but never alone. It's too dangerous to travel in Frostland in such small craft. This me that means that some convoy has passed here a long time ago, probably in a hurry. Otherwise, they'd have taken the body to bury it. All right, let's go to the trailer wreck. All right, got that done. Probably want to go ahead and extend that because we need steel cr like like mad explore no respect for masters uh oh if we had any doubts whether the bodies were thrown here deliberately a sign at the entrance of the gully dispels them no man will have rule over others for all time convicts of frostland these are probably bodies of the overseers who guarded convicts working on Frostland. And these cages were used to transport convicts from place to place. All right, let's go to the frozen sea. Okay. Let's do basic dwelling. Good. And people. Yeah, still need more steel. A note of thanks. Someone has left a note at the care house. It reads, thank you. With all the work we have to do, it's so hard for families to properly care for an, an, uh, an invalid. Places like this make life a little easier for all of us. Glad we could help. Okay, got some steel. 
All right, now let's get a house. Time for a breather. See you tomorrow. That'll help. Promise broken. Uh, yep, I tried. All right, steel. Memory of giants. Looking at the massive bulk of the trailer, we can't help but marvel at the power of the land dreadnoughts which roamed the Frostland before the great storm, bringing scores of people north. Where was this convoy headed? Alas, we won't find out. The storm has erased all their traces. All right, waiting, where shall we go? Steel Bridge. And can't send nothing yet. All right, waiting. Explore. Children of mine. We go inside. Turns out the mining corners reach deep under the permanent permafrost gives shelter to dozens of children accompanied by a handful of old and frail people. The mining machines broke long ago. Now the coal is being extracted by kids whose small stature allows them to traverse the tunnels easily. The children are proud that they manage on their own and reject our suggestion to move. We can help them by improving their living conditions in return for coal. Okay. So that's another faction area now. So let's get them coming back with the resources. And I need steel to send them out. Waiting. All right. What do we got? Explore. This must have been a sea. Must have been a seashore before the sea froze during a storm. The, the site is truly amazing. We can see some shape rising above the waves on the on the horizon. All right. Let's go to the ghost ship. Got to solve this food problem. But I need resources. I'm hurting. Bundle up. It's getting colder. Okay. All right, pump repair. Okay. All right, food rations. Explore. This ship carried hundreds of convicts whose bodies are still locked in cells. Well, that's a little creepy. But the crew did not abandon them. We found their remains in their quarters. There's still plenty of food aboard. We could take it, although we can't be sure... What was the cause of death of the crew and convicts? Okay, well, we need the food, so let's take it. And let's go to the shipwreck camp. All right. Can we build some more houses? Yes, we can. Aw. All right. Got the resources back. All right. So now let's send them. Can I send them? All right. We'll send them to the drying springs. Can I make a team? I can. And we'll send the team there. And can I? Yes, I can send more. All right, what do we got? Uh, helping hands and food. Good. Shipments going out. Resources coming in. Got a little food. Perfect. All right. Got lots of steam cores now. <laughs> Speaking of which, since we have a lot of steam cores for now, why don't we flip to just steel? Because we're really hurting for steel. So we got a lot of elite steam cores. We can always switch later. Okay, let's explore the shipwreck camp. 
Convicts were widely used on Frostland to build generators. Deceived by false promises of amnesty and return home, most of them were worked to death, carried on prison ships from one construction site to another. Some of them have rebelled, and those we met here were successful. They killed their guards, took over the ship, and set up their own settlement away from London's power. The hull of the ship heated by steam boilers protected them from the great storm. Hearing that we too have rebelled against our masters, they seem to warm up to us. That's great news. Okay. So now let's go and let's send them back, send these people back. Because there's a, the third faction. I think there's only three. All right, so we still need some steel. And I've got to hurry and solve this food problem. Alright. Explore. How much for the bridge? Workers are busy cutting pieces off the bridge structure. When we try to talk to them, they rebuff us angrily and tell us to, to leave or else. Let's see. The bridge will be defaced or worse. Stop them. Okay, food rail will get some. Uh, well, that's the best, safest option. Let's just leave them be. We don't gamble with life. All right. Let's send them to the sturdy shelter. Okay. And what do we got here? Trade resources. Good. Okay. How can we help you? You're in dire need of health care. Okay. Then send people. Okay, we'll think about it. Let's see, did that update? Nope, nope. Good. We're caught up there for the time being. All right, waiting. All right, Winter Home Engineers have built an elegant bridge. Okay, send them. Okay, thought I sent them, but apparently I didn't. Okay, ah, they're going now. <laughs> okay, what do we got? Hot springs. If your people want to build a medical post in our settlement, it's not necessary in our opinion. We have our ways of healing. The aura of the springs is a cure in itself. We don't trust engineers and their mechanical way of thinking, and we and we'd rather not have them around. You can help us in many other ways. Okay, yep, as you wish. Okay. Hungry, we're fed, we did it, yee-haw! We solved, at least it's not completely solved, but at least it's improved. We've got some food. They're not mad anymore. I think this is probably a good time to stop for the day. Okay, maybe we'll answer this call real quick. <laughs> Sir, a fever is spreading among our people in hot springs, but the locals refuse to treat them in medical posts. They say that the fever is merely a consequence of our unnatural lifestyle and offer some herbal remedies. We could threaten these nuts to, to make them listen to reason or hope the outbreak will end on its own. Uh, let's hope it will pass. Okay. All right, so we got that out of the way there. At this point, I think this is a good place to stop. I want to thank everyone for watching. We'll see y'all in the next episode. If you enjoyed this content, please uh, like the video and subscribe to the channel. It really does help us out. This is Silvershade saying, gamers don't die. See you at the respawn point.